and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to welcome you back to the Tidwell Taste Tour after our long hiatus of at least a year and a half, not really too sure when, we're back. Hooray! So, we're back with some fine selections. We're going to incorporate some liquors tonight. We're going to incorporate some beers uh, for the season. Today is June 16th, 2011. That sounds right. So it's, uh, it's going to be a bunch of summer stuff today. Uh, one thing I do kind of want to get out there is we've kind of tried to revamp. First of all, this is completely off the cuff. I had no intentions of coming here tonight. We had no idea this was going to happen. You got it clear. We didn't plan it. We didn't plan it at all. So here we are just kind of throwing it out there. Uh, one of the uh, one of the things we wanted to talk about is our rating system. Our rating system before was something along the lines of, uh, for anybody watching, something along the lines of uh, like a school rating system, sort of the A, B, C, D. It, we did it in numbers, but it was sort of like, you know, nothing like really Like a 60 got. would be an F and right. terrible. Um, we're going to revamp that. We're going to go ahead and from now on do a 1 through 10 rating system. Um, not school oriented. Basically, if something's terrible, it gets a 2 or a 3. Um, if something is is really good, it'll get an 8. And if something's perfect, it'll get a 10, so on and so forth. So it's going to be more like that. Um, anybody familiar with IGN.com, it'll be something along the lines of that sort of rating. <laughs> I think it's a pretty common, it's, it's a pretty it's standard, a really thing. standard thing. I think people can't grasp the concept. I, I think most of our fans follow IGN. So, so a 3 would be a little worse than a 4. Right. 5 would be a little bit better than that. So there's your concept. So there you go. Anyways, <laughs> for now, for those of you who understand our rating system a little bit better, <laughs> welcome to the tour. Uh, today we're going to start with a Saranac brew. Uh, neither of us have been impressed with Saranac in the past. No offense to Saranac people, but we just haven't been impressed. We got a, uh, a mixed pack here of Saranac stuff tonight, and this one is the Belgian White, Belgian style white ale. Uh, they're out of, I believe it's Utica, New York. Yeah, Utica, New York. Uh, so here we go. Do a little sample of it. I know some in the past have criticized my bottle opening and pouring. Well, let's just go ahead and put that behind this. More, right. more than one. Yeah. Apparently the Lithuanians just don't <laughs> like me. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we've got a Belgian white here. For mm -hmm. people unfamiliar, this is something along the lines of probably a blue moon or something like that. It's a Belgian-style white ale, so it smells decent enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, that's pretty good. I like that. Yeah, it's surprising for Saranac. Uh, I agree. Just Especially for everything I've had from them before hasn't been good. Yeah. So, having said that, I don't think it's on par with Blue Moon. It's not. Like it's that. not. It's it, it actually has a very reminiscent thing of Sam Adams Summer. Mm -hmm. It reminds me a lot of that. It has that uh, sort of orange, lemony, grains of paradise thing going on. like. Some rail does. Uh, in my opinion, this would get on the new rating scale. Very uh, complex. I would say it'd get a six and a half to a seven, somewhere in that vicinity. Seven halves. Yeah, we can do halves. Halves. So, okay. Now I have to rethink this thing here. <laughs> Is it really that difficult? This. Let me get another taste here. And I think the six and a half and a seven might come from this because of what I expected and, and right. then what I got. So it's not. It's obviously, like Duke Nukem Forever being super hyped up, right? Right. And everyone, you know, expecting it to be really good after twelve years. Twelve years in the in the making, yeah. So we expected not much, and then we got something that was pretty decent. And, and, and in reality, I'd probably, if I normally tasted this, I'd give it a six, probably. I'd say for the grading scale, since we're revamping it, you know, I'd say I'd say for the grading scale, since we're kind of, you know, we're we're we just spit it out. I would say that we do it. Not based on preconceptions about anything. It's hard just to do. Yes. I know it is. I know. Six. Six in that case. It's a good brew. Okay. It's solid. Um, six would be a step above I, medium. I feel like I'm being generous just because I like the style, but I'm going to give it a five. Okay. Well, that's fair. Six and because a five. Because I, I want to say it's middle of the road. Average of five and a half. Puts it right in that mediocre range. It's yeah. not a bad brew. It's not a fantastic brew. For what I got, I got surprised. It's my favorite Saranac thing I've ever tried. If I didn't like this style, I probably wouldn't like it that right. much. But this is like one of my favorite styles of So beers. that's what we got. Uh, Saranac, Belgian White. It's available in the Summer Sampler Pack. Uh, we paid twelve ninety nine for it tonight. Um, I'm not sure what the cost is, but I think you can find it throughout the U.S. Um, maybe just in the East Coast. I'm really not sure. Saranac Belgian White 5.5 was the overall, between the two of us, the overall rating. We'll be back with some more right after this. All right.